Hello, welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. Today I'm going to show you how to print off the ICC chart you've received from us in an email and what settings you should select before you send it to us by mail. So the ICC charts in the email, you'll have received a couple of different types of charts. One is for normal ink and one is for sublimation ink. So you should save the relevant chart to your desktop. So we're going to be printing it today on a Windows PC and we're going to be changing the settings on an Epson printer for this. So within the email you'll have a download link or within the instructions to some software called the Adobe Color Printer Utility. So this software has the ability to switch off the color management or print the chart with no color management whatsoever, which is what we need. So I'm going to open the Adobe Color Printer Utility. And straight away it wants to open up a file. So you can see here it wants to open up a TIFF file, which is basically a version a, a type of an image file. So we're going to go to the desktop where they're where they've been saved and say if we want to print the sublimation ink chart, that's the one that you need to send to us. Right. So it's it's opened it up now. It's not just a case of pressing print. Well, it is, but you've got some other settings which you need to change as well. So at the moment, this software will print with no color management, but you also need to tell the printer not to use its own color management. And that can be done in the following way. So we're going to press print. This should be set as A4. Uh, none of these settings should be changed at all and press OK. It will then come up with the option to select your printer. So at this point here will be the printer that you select that you want to have ICC profiled. And then we're going to go into the properties. So the, for the sublimation chart, if you're printing that one, it will have already been printed in mirror mode. So you should not flick that back. It should basically just be left as it is. The chart should all should not be altered in any way. This should be left as they are. So with regards to the paper type and the quality here, now when you change one of these settings here, it depicts how much ink is typically being laid down on the paper. So the ICC profile will be built around your setting. So if you were to choose plain paper and standard and you sent the chart to us and we made the ICC around that, if when you load the ICC and you come to to use it, you don't select plain paper as standard, then the ICCP profile won't be used properly. It's been built around the paper type and the quality. So we do recommend that you have, uh, as an example, at least plain paper and quality, but only you will know your, the print settings that you want. And normally plain paper standard isn't, isn't normally good enough, but there's many other options. So if you're printing with normal ink and you might be using an ultra glossy setting or a premium glossy or a, or a matte or whatever setting you want. You just have to remember when you send the ACC or the chart to us, the settings that you use, these two here. Now for sublimation ink, for our own brand of sublimation ink, we always use plain paper and quality. Yeah. Uh, if you're using inks from somebody else, uh, I mean, if you're using inks from us, just, just ask us the recommended settings. If you're using inks from someone else, you'll either know those settings or the manufacturer will have will tell you the recommended settings for their inks and papers. So for us, we're going to select plain paper, high quality. So the only other option then will be you click on to more options and the color correction here. So in, you should click custom into advanced and select no color management. So that's basically switched off the color management. And then the only other thing we do recommend is that you untick high speed. And that's it. You can press OK and then just press OK here and it's printed. Now you can print that off. I do recommend that you check that you've got an OK nozzle check before you print the chart off in case there's any missing colors print that off, get that in the post to us, and then we'll get your ACC made. Thanks for watching.